I didn't really know what to think, you know, because it there was a lot of emotions going on. Obviously, um, I think I had a lot of regret instantly. We were expecting big things from him just because of his junior year. He was doing so well, and I thought, oh boy, this senior year is going to be something really fantastic. And when that all came to a screeching halt, it was um, devastation. I think he was in shock. He was in so much pain that he wasn't really thinking about what was next. I started playing sports when I was like four, I think. Hockey was the first sport I played. I played a little bit of baseball in there too, and obviously track and cross country later on. But for the most part, it was hockey from when I was four till I was 18. We didn't really push sports on him. We tried to get him involved in lots of different things and let him try whatever. I had season tickets to the Red Wings and one of the perks was you got to go skate on the ice at Joe Lewis. So my husband and I would take him and we each held his hand and next thing I know, he was probably two and a half and he let go of us and he just took off. I don't wanna say I was really good at it, but I was decent at it enough to where I could play pretty competitive and I was one of the better guys on the team, so that made it more fun. As he grew older, though, he knew that he needed to stay in shape because hockey was, you know, taking up a lot of his energy and he just didn't have the stamina to keep playing. So he thought, let me start running. My seventh grade math teacher was good friends with my parents and she also happened to be the cross country coach. Her name was Miss Lacrosse. She got me to join cross country in eighth grade. I don't know if I really enjoyed the running part of cross country, but I definitely enjoyed the competition of it. We encourage our kids to do whatever they are passionate about. If they want to do something, they want to try something, we're behind them 100%. And that's kind of how it was with John. He wanted to run. We said, hey, it's a great way to get in shape for the hockey season. Absolutely. Go ahead and run. I think my junior year of high school is when it really hit me that I could be good at running. I had a teammate, Jack Blybtree, who was a year above me, and he was really good. So I was starting to keep up with him a little bit. We were starting to do really well in meets, and my coach talked about going to like nationals after the season and stuff, and that's when it kind of hit me that I could be good at this. I remember him running at the regional championships his junior year. I was actually recruiting some other guys at that meet, watching guys compete, and I saw this guy from Wald Lake Western. The thing that stood out the most was that he was a competitor, and that's what I really liked. Our hockey team would play kind of like club in the fall, and so we'd have games throughout the year. In the middle of my senior year, I decided to play hockey in the middle of cross country season, which was probably a dumb mistake, but I broke my femur in one of the games. Um, so that meant I couldn't run for the rest of the cross country season. Cut off half my hockey season too, because by the time I got back from injury, it was like January. There was a lot of instant regret that turned into how can we get better from this? Because obviously now I had a leg that didn't work and I had to kind of get through that rehab and all that stuff. And I knew that there was still half a hockey season and all of track season that I could get back to. So I think more of my mind shifted from regret to how can I get better for the last couple weeks of my seasons here. The focus on, on rehab, and this is his last chance, was tremendous. He was very focused, looks very competitive, trying to get back and pushing it as hard as he could. And uh, his timeline to, for his rehab was very short. It kind of hit me probably four weeks after that I probably wouldn't be running in college. And I actually, I was gonna go to Western Michigan and just be an engineering student. And then Coach Simonow called me in December after not talking for a couple weeks and I figured he wasn't interested anymore because a lot of other coaches weren't interested. And he was like, no, I'm still interested. Like, we want to get you out here for a visit. I'm someone that doesn't like to close doors. You never know what somebody's going to turn into. I really liked what I saw at that regional meet his junior year. And I thought he was somebody who had some ability. I was willing to continue to pursue it, see how it went, see if he was interested. I came on a visit. I liked it instantly really fell in love with the campus and stuff. And I really liked that he 
kept taking a chance with me and I committed here almost instantly. Coming into fall of my freshman year here, nothing was right. Um, running still hurt, and they were trying to make me run more than I could, basically. Um, so it was a lot of, it was a little bit of a process there. Physically, John was everything we thought he would be. Really talented, looked really good running, and you could tell that there was a lot of ability there. From a, a personality standpoint and from a kind of knowing what he was getting himself into, I think he was pretty lost. He was a hockey player who just joined one of the most competitive distance groups in the country and was trying to see if he could make it as a distance runner. We're gonna run aggressively, you gotta do it with a calm manner. Coach Dreinth called me in his office a couple times, asked if I really wanted to run in college because it didn't seem like I was into it. It was definitely hard for me to admit that I was still dealing with stuff from my injury, especially because they had recruited me thinking that I was back to normal and I didn't want to just tell them like I'm not and I maybe was a little afraid of getting cut or something. I don't know what was really my thought there, but I definitely had a hard time with that. There were a lot of growing pains going from someone who played hockey half the year and ran a little bit in the spring. There was gonna be an adjustment period, so it took him a while to kind of get used to the way we do things here and, and running year round. So in the beginning, he struggled a little bit. For me, it was one of those things with John where you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And so I had a bunch of conversations with him about trying to help him realize his potential, help him see what was there, and then connect the dots of what he was doing versus what he needed to do to be successful. The big thing Coach Simmons stressed to me was accountability and that I need to hold myself accountable for what I'm doing. And I started training more. I started training with a purpose more. And I think that really brought out some better races. And once I started racing better, it just got more fun. Obviously it's been fantastic. Like this is what we, we build these guys up towards. This is kind of the potential that I saw in him for the past few years. And it was fun to see him take training seriously over Christmas break and come in fit and working out well and running down Morgan or trying to run down Morgan in workouts from basically the end of the indoor season all the way through outdoors at nationals. He was just a different guy and it was just a, a lot of fun to see that progress. The growth I've seen from John over the last seven years is tremendous. He went from having a broken leg to this phenomenal athlete that can run miles and miles and miles at a really fast pace. It's just extraordinary how much he's come in the last seven years. If I could go back and talk to a younger me, I think I would just tell him to trust the process. Things are going to get tough, things are going to be frustrating, but in the end, it's all gonna work out one way or another. So just have fun with what you're doing, enjoy it, and trust that it's gonna work out.